A jailbreak for iOS 7 seems to be getting closer according to hackers. Dell, and yes, I didn't get that wrong, Dell just announced four new tablets, and Microsoft continues its dilemma over which is their new CEO. I'm Jaime Rivera, and seriously, if Microsoft is having such trouble finding a new leader, we could all just send our resumes, guys. This is Pocket Now Daily. So let's start today off with some unexpected but actually cool news. Do you all remember a company called Dell? You know, they used to be the biggest PC maker years ago. They even made some really cool pocket PCs and some awesome smartphones. Well, even though they've been kind of hidden from the mobile space, they actually launched four different tablets today by the name of Venue Tablets. And don't get confused, the Dell Venue 8 Pro and Dell Venue 11 Pro are actually the Windows 8.1 tablets, and then the Venue 8 and Venue 7 tablets are their Android tablets, and these tablets actually have some very capable specifications. Links down below for full details on these tablets, and we actually already have hands-on videos on everything you can expect from these. These are actually some very interesting products. It's great to see Dell back in the game. Let's just see if these things sell. Now another company that's making some interesting headlines is LG as they've now confirmed that they'll bring a smartphone with a flexible display just like Samsung and even with the rumors that we had from Apple yesterday that the iWatch will bring a flexible display. We did hear that LG and Samsung had ordered flexible displays and as it turns out just like Samsung is going to bring a new higher end lineup of smartphones well LG has got the Z lineup and their Z lineup will bring flexible displays along with other better flagship specifications so links down below for details on that and let's see which one comes first i mean apparently these two companies are going to bring something by the end of this year aside from what they already have now an interesting twist in the news is there does seem to be some drama in redmond over the next ceo of microsoft and alan malali ford ceo seems to be a strong candidate a lot of people have been talking about it for the past couple of days up to the point where it's taking the internet by storm nobody wants a car maker ceo to be the ceo of a software company and as it turns out it's been so bad that malali has come on record to state that he's not interested but things even seem to be more dramatic as three shareholders and board members are now stating that that they don't even want Bill Gates to remain on the board. They want these two guys out of the company. So let's see how that turns out. Let's see if this is actually something good for Microsoft. Now in some additional executive drama, one of Qualcomm's high-level executives has now stated that Apple's A7 64-bit chip is worthless. It's only a marketing stunt. And according to his arguments, which are kind of right, the only thing you can actually do is install more RAM on the phone, which you currently can't, and also install some more complex server-based applications that you're not going to do most likely. Or, well, let's see what Apple has planned for this. Obviously, what's even more ironic is that after he stated all this, he said that Qualcomm's next move is to bring 64-bit chips to smartphones, uh, which makes you wonder, I mean, why doesn't the guy make up his mind? If he doesn't like the thing, why does he criticize it and then say that they're going to actually do it as well? And finally, for the hot news of the day, those of you interested in jailbreaking iOS 7 will get some good news very soon, probably. We all know of Asian Revolution jailbreaking on iOS 6 and as it turns out Evanders which is the hacker behind evasion has now confirmed that he's already got all the pieces to the puzzle to be able to do it on iOS 7 and obviously now he's just got to test it on a phone and obviously make this user friendly for everybody else but hmm you know this leads me to the question of the day with things like touch ID on the iPhone 5s are you really interested in jailbreaking your iPhone in my particular case, honestly, since the Touch ID information is stored on the chip uh, and it could be accessible to anybody after jailbreaking your phone, I would think about it twice with the iPhone 5S or pretty much any phone, you know, rooting any Android phone with a fingerprint scanner in the future since this apparently will be a thing in the future. But leave us a comment down below if your phone has a fingerprint scanner, would you be interested in hacking it? Friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top of the world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.